Welcome back to UserPilot's Lightning Fast SaaS Insights. Today, we're unraveling the secrets from one of our latest blog posts. So, buckle up as we dive into the world of product management metrics. It's like a treasure hunt, but instead of a treasure chest, we find invaluable data insights. Imagine you're a captain sailing the SaaS seas. Your compass, product management metrics. They guide you, helping you navigate through the stormy waters of user engagement, onboarding, and feedback. But with a sea of data, how do you choose the right metrics? Our blog post highlights 10 key metrics that every product manager needs to track. But don't worry, we won't drown you in technical jargon. Instead, we'll sail smoothly through each one, making sure you understand their importance. First up, we have the Customer Acquisition Cost, or CAC. Think of it as the price tag for each new user you onboard. It's like buying a ticket for each passenger on your ship. Next, we have the Trial to Pay Conversion Rate. This tells you how many users love the free trial cruise so much, they decided to stay on for the full journey. Then there's the Customer Lifetime Value, or CLV. It's like the treasure chest you gain from each passenger over their journey with you. And let's not forget the Customer Satisfaction Score, or CSAT. It's like a happiness meter for your passengers. The higher the score, the happier they are. We also have Daily Active Users, or DAU, and Monthly Active Users, or MAU. These metrics tell you how many passengers are actively enjoying the cruise each day and month. Then there's the feature adoption rate. It's like knowing how many passengers are using the onboard facilities and activities. Monthly recurring revenue, or MRR, is the steady stream of treasure you can expect each month. Net Promoter Score, or NPS, is like a popularity contest. It tells you how many passengers would recommend your cruise to their friends. Customer Retention Rate tells you how many passengers love the journey so much, they decided to stay on for another cruise. And finally, the Customer Churn Rate. It's the flip side, showing how many passengers decided to disembark. Now, knowing these metrics is just the first step. The real challenge is improving them. But don't worry, our blog post has got you covered with strategies like using interactive walkthroughs, secondary onboarding, and in-app self-service support. And remember, you don't have to sail these seas alone. Tools like UserPilot, Mixpal, and Heap are like your trusty crew, helping you track and analyze these metrics. Phew, that was quite a journey, wasn't it? But remember, these metrics are your compass, guiding you towards product-led growth. So don't be afraid to dive deep into the data sea. And if you need more insights, our blog post is like a detailed map, ready to guide you. Enjoy the insights. There's plenty more where that came from on UserPilot's blog, so don't forget to check it out. Until next time, keep sailing and keep growing.